Okay, see Lindelof videos. Find the prime factorization of a number. Remember, prime factorization of any number is when that number is expressed completely using only its prime factors. Doesn't that sound great? So I just want to let's do a couple of examples, and I'm going to do a couple of them twice, so you can see that you actually can't go wrong as long as you're following the rules. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the prime factorization of 70. So here's 70. All I'm going to do is take two numbers any two numbers that multiply to any I'm sorry any two positive numbers that multiply to give me 70 um, so you know what I'll do something obscure and I'll use 2 and 35 so here's the question I ask myself each time I do this is 2 a prime number that is to say does it only have two factors one in itself and it does so I'm gonna put a little circle around that because this is my notation to myself that I'm gonna keep this number and then I'm gonna go down to here and I'm gonna ask myself is 35 a prime number and it's not so I need two factors of 35 and the two I can think of are 7 and 5 asking myself the question again is 7 prime and it is and is 5 prime and it is so then I'm just gonna write these numbers it's this times this times this so I'm just gonna write them from least to greatest if you don't mind so the prime factorization of 70 is 2 times 5 times 7 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 7 is 70. That worked. So what if I did it using another two numbers instead? I'm just going to check my math here. So okay, I'm not going to use 2 and 70, I'm sorry, 2 and 35. I'm going to use um, 7 and 10. So 7 and 10. Check my math. 7 times 10 is 70, so that means I can use that. Ask myself the question with the first factor. Is 7 a prime number? And we just talked about it over here, that it is. So I'm going to circle it because that means I'm going to keep it. Then I'm going to look at 10 and ask myself the same question. Is 10 a prime number? And it is not. And therefore, I'm going to look at those factors. I'm not going to use 1 in itself because it would just get me right back to where I was. So I'm going to find two different factors. So I'm going to find 2 times 5. Check my math. 2 times 5 equals this 10 up here, doesn't it? Asking ourselves a question. Is 2 prime? And it is. Is 5 prime? And it is. And check this out. I have a factor of 2, a factor of 5, and a factor of 7. Factor of 2, factor of 5, and factor of 7. So this prime factorization works out perfectly, even if I start with different factors. <laughs> Let's make sure, though, that we understand that the two factors must multiply to give you the number that you started with. So it, as long as that's true, it doesn't matter how you do it. Let's do one more example really quickly just to see how it is. So we're going to um, say find the prime factorization of 120. Okay, so I guess we're going to use 120. And I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do one. I'm going to take 120, right? And I'm going to find two numbers. Hey, look, if you're sitting there at home and you're like, well, what if I don't use the numbers he does? Try using different numbers and see if you don't end up exactly at the same place that I do. Um, I'm going to use uh, 12 and 10. 12 and 10. 12 times 10 indeed is 120. I'm going to look at 12 is 12 prime. It's not, so I don't get to keep that. Um, two factors of 12 are 3 and 4. I'm going to ask myself the same question as I asked before. Is 3 prime? And it is. So I'm going to put a circle around it because it means I'm going to keep it. Is 4 prime? And it's not. And I'm going to use the factors 2 times 2, right? And of course, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 is prime. And 2 is still prime over here. I'm going to move over here because I know that 10 is not prime. So I'm going to do factors. I'm going to do 2, which of course we know is prime, and 5 which from the last problem we know is prime and I'm gonna write it I'm gonna write this out I usually go least to greatest so I have one two three factors of two which gives me two times two times two I use this one I use this one and I use this one I'm always checking stuff off to make sure I have it right I haven't used this three so here's the three check it off and here's the five check that off because I'm gonna use it right here so what you need to ask your instructor next is how do they want this given back because we do know that th that two times two times two is two to the third times three times five right don't expand this out more but some uh, educators want it this way they this is fine with them others want it this way so you just have to ask them which way they prefer it just to prove our point again, I'm going to go back and do the same problem one more time, starting with different factors and hoping that I get to the same two. Um, I'm going to use um, 6 and 26. Right, 6? Six, yeah, 6 times 20 is, is 120. 6 is not prime, right? So we don't get to capture it. So I'm going to bring this down. And 2 times 3 
is 6, isn't it? So 2 is prime. We talked about this. 3 is prime. We talked about this. Look how this is building up the same way it is over here, even though I started from a different place. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do, because of room, I'm going to put 5 here and 4 here, right? 5 we know is prime. 4 is not prime, so I need to continue my little tree here, right? And 4, 2 times 2 gives me my 4 back, doesn't it? And 2 is prime, and 2 is still prime here. Check this out. I have 1, 2, 3 factors of 2, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Used all that. The next factor I'm going to use is 3 times 3, and lastly, times 5. Look, I, am, I do want to uh, emphasize to you that I am going back. Look, I'm checking my work to make sure I use all this stuff, because that's another error that happens a lot, is people forget to do that. Remember that you were... Um, your teacher, your educator, your professor, whoever you're talking to, may want this in in exponential form, and it would be 2 times 3. You don't want this 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, because that would be going right back to where we started from, wouldn't it? Times 3 times 5, or more commonly, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember that all really good math, higher level math, is all based on great fundamentals. So if you're thinking about doing trig in Calc 1 and Calc 2 and possibly Calc 3, you have to get your fundamentals done. If your fundamentals are good, you can do any kind of math. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.